they're doing a lot of thinking. They're really wanting to know for themselves, what can I do with the design? I've been there too, like you're stuck with the design. What can I put on this panel? You know, and just playing around with that idea. So, you know, I just watch and, you know, make some su suggestions and they already know where they're going with it. It's just getting it onto the, to the wood. My name is Brenda Crabtree and I am the Aboriginal Program Manager at Emily Carr University of Art and Design and I have the privilege of working with the approximately 80 Aboriginal students at Emily Carr. Hi, I'm Chris Gaston. I work for FP Innovations and the University of British Columbia and along with uh, Brenda Crabtree from Emily Carr we are the two co-project leaders of Opening Doors. These door panels are actually carved from both yellow cedar and red cedar. This project also embraces the um, cultural connection that Aboriginal artists have to cedar. And cedar for Aboriginal artists throughout BC is actually our tree of life. My name is Khalaktin Queenshna, that's my name. I am Skotmish, we now call Squamish. My name is William Callahan. My Klingit name is Yakusei Yuhat Duasau. Um, my clan is Dakhwedi. My name is James Nukalos Harry. I come from uh, the Squamish Nation. Um, I'm also Kwakiwak. Well, my name is Chaz Mack. Grew up in Bellacula, BC. My new folk name is Nanoskli and Originally, when I was 15, 16, I found out I was from Bella Bella. My name is Weakai. My English name is Lyle Mack. Uh, my family comes from the village of New Skills. Um, we're from Bella Kula. Uh, most people know us as the New Health people. Hello, my name is Edmund James Thomas Neal. My traditional names are Anape from the Chalanoff Territory and Castellas from the Kwakwakiwa Territory. I've already learned quite a bit from Colact and Rick Carey, who's a seasoned carver in terms of 2D formats, which he deals a lot largely with public projects and private commissions, strictly in two dimensions, doors, panels, and the like. Carver spent four weeks at Emily Carr under uh, Hull Atkins mentorship and concurrently the Frida Deason School also had their group of carvers under the um, mentorship of Ken McNeil. You know, the artists completely own not only the design and these panels, they'll, they own the reproduction so they'll decide how many limited edition reproductions that they want to do. Yes the doors I understand are going to start off at the roundhouse here and the doors will be away for a year on a road trip and I'll be traveling to different parts, probably across, you know, across Canada to, I heard, maybe Japan and Germany and wherever it else it takes it from there. Hi, um, I'm Sheila Hall and I'm the co-curator of the Opening Doors exhibition held here at the Roundhouse. And um, we were very happy to work with this exhibition. And I'm Ray Hartley and worked with Sheila curating this exhibition. One of the major things about this exhibition that really excited me is the collaboration between all the different partners. There is the community that we're, um, where, we, where we are right now in the Roundhouse. Through my, uh, mostly my work at UBC, we're going to bring technology into the equation. And we are working with the artists to uh, look at the possibility of doing what I call limited edition prints with uh, modern scanning and, and CNC router technology. The panel that I'm working on right now, I feel like a self-portrait. It's, it's these two characters that I've always represented in a lot of my artworks. Of the two teams that we had for the, for the training, uh, we had five students from um, the southern part of the coast going to uh, Emily Carr University of Art and Design and five up north in Terrace at Frida Deason School, which is actually part of the Northwest Community College. The two panels that you're seeing behind me are two of those from the north, Arlene Ness, this one here, and on my left, uh, Jared Kane. And interestingly, we also divided the species um, by the two areas. 
uh, up north we used yellow cedar and here in Vancouver we used western red cedar. Plum line is mainly bold, like northern style. There's a lot of like similarities between the Haida and um, Tlingit art. I came across this project by our one of our band members back home. It took me a while to think about it. You know, I didn't want to come here by myself, and so I asked Lyle to come with me, and, and was hoping that that both of us would would do it together. And sure enough, we did. Me and Chaz do a lot of work in our in our own community together. Uh, a lot of family projects that we do have short timelines on them, and so. You know, we, we kind of stick together, we learn from each other. It's a lot of people are, you know, ask us, oh, who do you think's better? But we don't think that way, we just we just push each other's. And that's all it's about, is expanding the art and doing the best that we can. And what uh, appealed to me, or one of the other things that appealed to me about it was is that there's a mentoring process that's taking place here. So you have master carvers teaching younger carvers the skills and knowledge that they've acquired over 30 or 40 years of practice. Also you had fathers and sons, so there were, there's a father-son team in the exhibition, and you also had one of the fathers um, who's also a carver but not in the exhibition coming in and, and showing his son some of the techniques that, uh, that he could use while carving. I'm very interested in how uh, Northwest Coast Aboriginal art is moving uh, from more traditional into contemporary art, and they're using different materials, different ways of working with, uh, with the traditional designs, and this CNC technology adds a new tool to the toolbox in a sense. An important component of this uh, study was to work beyond the uh, very talented artists in themselves and really look at how we can turn this into a capacity building for the communities. This program was initiated as a pilot project and it's been a really interesting journey of exploration, of troubleshooting, of just having the amazing opportunity to work with artists from uh, all areas. Whoa.